Hello viewers, you are welcome back to another interesting maths question we are going to solve. Today we have this question here which says, this shape here, PQRS is a rectangle. The point at which circle B touches line RS is the midpoint of line RS. And that the surface area of this circle A here is 4 times the surface area of this circle B here. So we can say area of circle B equal to X. And if area of circle B is X, area of circle A must be equal to 4X. So here, find the area of this portion here in blue. If the circumference of circle A is 44 centimeters. So how can you solve this? If you look, this line PR, line QS, and this line PQ are tangent to circle A at this, this, on this point here. And we know that line PR and line QS are parallel to each other because PQRS is a rectangle. So we can draw a line here from this point here to this point parallel to this line PQ. Let's label this point here G. And this here h this here is a right angle because the quadrilateral pqrs is a rectangle and hence this and this here are right angles so now we know that any straight line segment that touches two parallel tangents of a cycle at the point the two tangents touch the cycle is a diameter of the cycle and hence this line here, line GH, is the diameter of circle A. Now from this quadrilateral here, this here which is a semicircle of A, and this circle B are inside the quadrilateral GHRS. So we can derive that if we subtract the area of the semicircle of A and the area of circle B from the area of GHRS, we are going to be left with only the area of this portion in blue here which we are asked to find its area. So now we can let the portion in blue to be N. So if that is N, we can say area of N equal to area of GHRS minus area of semicircle A minus area of circle B. Area of semicircle of A is half the area of circle A. So we can say area of N equal to area of GHRS minus half the area of circle A minus area of circle B. But what is the area of circle Yet to be known. Because we need the length of its radius. But we have the circumference of circle A to be 44 centimeters. And we know that the formula for the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. So we can equate 2 pi r to 44 to find the radius of the circle. So now 2 pi r equal to 44. Pi is 22 over 7. So now 2 times 22 over 7 r equal to 44. Making r the subject, r equal to 44 divided by 2 times 22 over 7, which is 44 divided by 44 over 7. R will be equal to 44 times 7 over 44. 44 cancels 44, so R equal to 7. So we find the radius of circle A to be equal to 7 centimeters. To find its area now, we introduce the formula for finding the area of a circle, which is pi R squared. So area now equal to pi R squared. Pi is 22 over 7. And R, which is radius, is 7 centimeters. So area now equal to 22 over 7 times 7 squared. 7 squared is 7 times 7. Now 7 cancels 7. 22 times 7 is 154. So we'll find the area of this circle A to be 154 centimeters squared. We can substitute directly here. Now coming back to the area of circle B, how can we find it? Here we have area of circle B equal to x, and that of circle A is 4x. So to find the area of circle B, we need the value of x. 
So since this is 4x and we have the area of circle A to be equal to 154, we can equate 4x 154. So 4x now equal to 154. Dividing both sides by 4, now 4x over 4 equal to 154 over 4. Here 4 cancels 4 and here 154 divided by 4 is 38.5. So x equal to 38.5 and that implies that the area of circle B is 38.5. We can substitute directly here. So now area of N equal to area of GHRS minus 1 over 2 form bracket 154 minus 38.5. The only thing we are left with now to find the area of N is the area of the quadrilateral GHRS. So if you come here, we have this line to be a diameter of circle A and we have its radius to be 7 centimeters and diameter is 2 times radius. So line GH now is 2 times 7 centimeters, which is 14 centimeters. So what about the other sides of GHRS. Since line PR is parallel to line QS and we have these two lines here GH and RS to be at right angles, that means line GH and line RS are equal because the perpendicular distance between any two parallel lines is equal at all points and hence this is also 14 centimeters in length. Now what are the lengths of the other two sides? Recall we have this point here which circle B touches line RS to be the midpoint of line RS. So we can draw a line here parallel to this line HS from this point here to this line GH. So since this is the midpoint of line RS, this must also be the midpoint of line GH because line GH and line RS are parallel and equal. Now recall line GH is a diameter of circle A and the midpoint of the diameter of a circle is also the center of the circle. So that means this point is also the center of circle A. And if so, distance from this point here to this point is equal to the radius of the circle which is 7 centimeters. Now if you have the distance from this point to this point here, we can just add it to 7 centimeters to have the length of this line here. Since this line RS is a tangent at this point and this line here is perpendicular to line RS because it is parallel to this line here and this is a right angle, that implies that this is a diameter of circle B. So what is the length of the diameter of circle B? Diameter is 2 times radius. Recall we found its surface area to be 38.5 cm squared and the formula for the surface area of a circle is pi r squared. So we can equate pi r squared to 38.5 to find r. So pi r squared now equal to 38.5. Pi is 22 over 7. So 22 over 7 r squared now equal to 38.5. Making only r the subject now, r will be equal to square root of 38.5 divided by 22 over 7 which if you press your calculator equal to 3.5. So the radius of circle B is 3.5 centimeters and therefore its diameter is 2 times 3.5 which is 7. Now the length of this here is 7 centimeters and we have here to be 7 centimeters. To find the length of this line here, we have 7 centimeters plus 7 centimeters which is 14 centimeters. And if this is 14 centimeters, this and this must also be 14 centimeters in length because they are parallel and equal to each other. So now, if you look, it happens that this GHRS is a square because all its sides are equal in length. To find its surface area now, the formula for the area of a square is the square of one of its length. So area of GHRS now equal to 14 squared. 14 squared is 14 times 14 which is 196. 
So area of the square GHRS is 196 centimeters squared. Substituting it here, now area of N equal to 196 minus 1 over 2, open bracket 154 minus 38.5. 1 over 2, open bracket 154 is 77. So area of N9 equal to 196 minus 77 minus 38.5, which equals to 80.5 centimeters squared. So we'll find the area of the blue color portion to be equal to 80.5 centimeters squared.